Good morning. Um, good morning, Facebook. Good morning, Instagram. Good morning, YouTube. Um, I wanted to get on here to talk to you today uh, a little bit about the system of value. And I hope that you had the opportunity to catch my YouTube video that I did yesterday called the um, uh, Information Gluttons. And this video ties into that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if you haven't seen that, please go to my YouTube channel and um, find the video that I most recently uploaded called Information Gluttons, where I talk more about um, the foundations for this word. Um, so, so when you think about, I think that, that we have um, misunderstood the way that like everything in life works in the natural world and in the spiritual world you know in in it, for example in the bible it says that the earth is founded upon foundations but we know from science that the earth is just like out in space right so so where are those foundations and i think that we have taken that same kind of um principle and try to apply it to our lives without understanding what we're actually building upon. Everything has a foundation. Everything has a foundation and we focused very much on that. Like we need a solid foundation. We need a firm foundation, a foundation built on the rock, not on the sand. And we understand that part of it, but we don't understand actually what we're building um, that foundation upon the, the, the system that's supporting the foundation itself. <clears throat> and without that understanding, you'll always be lacking um, potential, you'll be lacking a, a revelation, you'll be lacking in all of these various areas when really you were meant to have dominion over all of those systems. You're, you're meant to build upon all of those systems, having every single one of them under your dominion and working for you, <clears throat> not against you. But without your knowledge, your, your authority is directly related to the amount of revelation, the amount of knowledge and understanding that you have about a certain area. And so um, whatever you don't value, you'll repel from your life. And this can be even in ignorance, you can be doing this. You just don't understand why you need to be valuing a certain thing. And in my video yesterday, when I talked about information gluttony, basically where, where people are so hungry to either be healed or to get whole, to move forward in life, that they're just consuming information without really thinking about what they're consuming, why they're consuming it, and they're not really testing to see if this information is um, is beneficial to them you know think about and I did a whole video on it like I said so please watch that but I, I relate it to food like if I'm hungry I could eat a pizza or I could eat a salad right like and the, the nutritional value of each of those items is different and the way that it feeds my body will be different and the same is true for information. Everything has value. And actually there's an entire system of value. Um, a couple of uh, days ago I did a video where I was um, briefly explaining the fact that I've been having these dreams that have been revealing to me these the systems. And just all, the way that everything was built and founded and how these systems are still traveling through, they're still um, affecting our lives today. And um, it's very important that we understand how these systems are working so that we can partner with them or that we can remove them if they're not working for us and we can replace them with something better. So whatever you don't value, you'll repel from your life. And this is why when you focus on finding things that are matching your history and you're not really taking a look to say and, and reflect upon why am I doing that? Like, you need to know where you are right now, but you also need to have vision for where you are going in the future. And without that, your your destiny is always going to evade you because the information that you're gathering, that you're consuming, that you're taking into your body, soul, and spirit is only feeding your history. It's keeping you stuck. The actual thing that you are doing when you think you are doing all of this stuff so that you can move forward and not make the same mistakes or not... Uh, you know, make different choices or, or change um, certain patterns of behavior in your family. You might be thinking that you're doing those things with that intention, but if you're actually only focused on your history, your destiny is always going to evade you. The reason that you have a history, the things that you've experienced in your past, um, 
the situations, the circumstances, the people that you've been connected to, the the um, situations that you've been allowed to observe and to be a part in, those all um, are meant to pull out this version of you that is meant to step into the next level of your destiny. And I have um, a couple of videos coming out where I talk about that. And I have a video coming up in, I think, three weeks talking about... Um, illegal knowledge and how this quest for um, for understanding and for enlightenment has really um, made some of us tap into this realm of illegal knowledge that doesn't just um, prevent us from moving forward into our destinies, but it actually ties us into a system that is going to be hindering every area of our lives, every aspect of our lives. There is such thing as knowledge that is not meant to be accessed. Um, and there's also timings. All of these systems run with one another and they interlock. And so there is no such thing, you know, as one working independent from the other. And so um, the, the system of value um, uh, really needs to be tapped into and understood, especially when you're building, you know, the foundation of, of whatever your legacy is going to be while you're here on earth. You know, whatever it is, the reason that you do what you do, you know, your why for why you get up in the morning and why you go to work or why you run your business or why you are awake just doing life, Th that foundation needs to be tied into a system of value and that system needs to be uh, connected to a system of excellence you know and I, I um, in a few weeks all of my videos uh, for the past I think for the past two weeks and moving forward tie into one another um, and uh, uh, they build upon one another so um, if you miss some please go back and watch them so that you understand how I'm building upon these but the system of value that you are tapping into is running underneath the foundation of whatever it is that you're building for your legacy. So whatever your why is, again, whatever you're waking up to you know, every morning, that system of value is going to determine the solidity of the foundation that you're building on. And a lot of people, again, focus so much on the foundation that they forget about these systems that are in place that are working, whether you want them to or not, they're present, and how they um, are used is going to determine the length of that foundation. So, um, so again, just being aware of what you value. Why do you value it? You know, what does this do for you right now, and how is that helping you get to, you know, where you want to be at in five years, in six months? you know, in, in three generations for your family. There has to be a system of value tapped into a system of excellence. Um, and I talk a little bit about this in a video that I have coming up in a few weeks where I speak about mediocrity and how that's tapped into the system of value as well. And some people value just barely getting by, where some people um, will labor longer, but it's because they want their value system to be tapped into um, excellence instead. And so um, really being aware of how these things work is going to be um, uh, not only like beneficial long term, but they are meant, they'll guide you into the knowledge that you're supposed to be consuming. They'll help you when you have this uh, this revelation of these systems. You'll be able to make better decisions about, you know, just con everything really. But like connections, for example, who you're supposed to be connected to, how much, and of what you're supposed to listen to when you when you hear somebody speaking. Um, what kind of of church or spiritual leadership you you are supposed to be uh, connected to for that season of your life. You know what. Um, what aspects, who do you need to go to for business advice if you're trying to grow a business or build a business? Um, all of those things, you know, that every single part of your life is connected and is tapped into these systems. So um, if you find that you've been doing the same things over and over and over and you're trying to build this very smooth and solid foundation, but it seems like the building is stagnant or it just never seems to get going, really take a look at the systems that are sitting 
underneath that are running underneath that foundation and check and see if perhaps those systems need to be rearranged. Maybe you need to be more intentional with what ones you're tapping into or what ones um, need to get replaced. Like I said, it's not enough to just remove a system. It doesn't work that way. And you must replace it with, with something else. There has to be something in that place. There is no such thing as nothing. And so something has to be taking up that space that you uh, want that old system to leave, something new has to come in its place. So that's basically it for this live. I wanted to also just make an announcement. Next week I'm going to be releasing um, a special um, package that you can get through my website. Um, it'll be an ebook with five teachings in it and it's called The Reset and it will be available or, or I'll um, It'll be available for pre-order next week, and uh, I'll be doing some more lives about this. But there are five main um, teachings that are included in this in this uh, package that I really felt led to put together, so that people can take start taking a look at what the um, what is underneath the foundation that they are building their lives upon, and give them a solid way to kind of evaluate things, even if you've been doing those things for a long period of time for example one of the um, one of the teachings is on proper prayers maybe you've been praying for a very long time this is not like how to pray these are again the systems behind that like I have a course on um, on crafted prayer so if you need to learn how to pray that's the course this is not that this is what's behind are you are you paying attention to it's more than spiritual principles it's actual systems there are foundations behind um, behind the natural world that propel it to work and so these are focusing on the spiritual aspects of the um, foundations of the natural so I will talk more about that next week. I hope this video has helped you um, understand more about what you value, maybe pay attention to what your value system is tapped into, and I will talk with you soon.